warm. First and foremost, before we dive into this lesson, we'd like to give our honor, no glory, no praise to do to the Heavenly Father. And it's only we got a son in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, we'll call Kadash. Double honor to the great man, son, elder, apostle, teacher, and will. Peace, sight, taste to the hopeful elected, scattered abroad across the four winds of the splendor that's adorning all things. I sold to my Shiaki Yahweh Shah. And the hardest other one to the self, Wathium, that's our third resident and husband, being a pillar of rest, keep doing so, okay? So, uh, the title of this lesson, man, is uh, entitled Lesson on Dream About Being Delivered from a Murder Drone. The reason why it's titled this, man, because um, I had a vision, you know, last night, and basically, um, it was basically a vision on how e on e one of Esau's uh, uh, murder bots or whatnot, and you know, we know that this devil is capable of these things and stuff like that. We know that he has these kind of kind of things and stuff like that. It's no if and buts about it and stuff like that. So basically, man, how the dream was, man, it was basically, you know, me in a car with my uh, folks or whatnot. And basically, uh, we was driving and stuff. You know, I'm not going to make this too long, but, you know, but, hey, man, it's, it's crazy how it was, man. So, you know, um, we was driving or whatnot and stuff like that. And next, you know, I looked to my left, you know, and I just had it pointed out how it was like a fleet, of, how it was like a field. It was just all drones in the field or whatnot. And basically, I'm looking over there and stuff. And then, you know, I see some white ones and then some brown ones and stuff sitting over there in that area as well. So then next, you know, um, I looked, I looked over. And I noticed that one of the drones had uh, came out from the uh, formation and stuff like that that was hovering over the field, and it had kind of, I had started to pursue us, it started chasing us, and uh, I remember that the drone started shooting at us and stuff like that. And as you, as you know, I was looking at the drone at the the whole time, you know, uh, the drone was just shooting at the truck. But one thing I realized that not one bullet went into the truck and no one bullet went through the window you know not one bullet went through the window nor through the truck at any at any point you know and we know that these drones man you know you know drones have like a steady flight pattern you know they don't jiggle they don't stutter they they have a steady flight pattern and you know what's crazy is because like the bullets was uh hitting the back of the truck you know hitting the back you know, but it wasn't hitting the window. And it was, you see, the, you hear the bullets flying past, cracking the ground right next to us and stuff as we were driving. And the driver had started gunning it, you know, started driving real fast, you know, and basically, you know, we outmaneuvered the drone and lost the drone and stuff like that. But man, when I woke up, I realized like, man, that, that right there is like showing like a deliverance, you know, because there's gonna be things like that to come. You know, because we're going to see, you know, this devil come down with great wrath, man. And, you know, he's not going to spare any. He ain't going to spare none. You know, he's going to come down with great wrath, you know. So, you know, I'm going to get these two verses real quick. Second address, chapter 16, and verse 68, and verse 272, 71. And it says, <clears throat> for behold, the burning and wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. They shall take away certain of you. And feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. They shall consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden underfoot. For therein shall be in every place in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And they shall be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. You know, so hey, that burning multitude is talking about this devil Esau Edom. You know, because he's going to come down with great wrath upon the Israelites, man. Right? You know, even though he's going to be trying to kill his own people and destroy his own people in the way, you know, because, you know, you're going to have them um, liberal Edomites trying to, you know, defend Jake. You know, but that's all through the spirit of Yahweh yeah, Shem Yosha allowing that to happen. You know, allowing them to, um, you know, stand up. But then the way, it's still fuck these devils anyway. But, um,. That's why it says they should be like mad man sparing none. Because hey man, this devil man, he gonna come down with that with that wrath, man. And you know, he gonna use all his weapons, man, just to hunt Jake down. And as I saw in that dream, he had one of those drones, you know, with the guns on it, and it was just shooting, man. And it was hitting the truck, 
you know, it, and it was putting, it put big bullets in her, you know, and man, it, it was just crazy how the Lord, you know, delivered me from, from that because I know my family members, they not in the truth, you know, so they don't know about the truth and stuff like that, but, you know, it just showed like how the Lord, like, you know, delivered me out of that situation and stuff and how much more the Lord going to do when this stuff actually happened and stuff like that because the Lord said he going to work out his strength is worse than his strength is acts. So we're going to see all kind of different miracles and different um, acts out here, man. We're going to see a lot of miracles happen out here, okay, because y'all by seeing your son is going to be delivering us, man, okay? Uh, uh, let's go ahead and get the book of Revelation chapter 12 and 12. And the reason it says... <clears throat> Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. You know, so, hey, yes, this devil is going to come down upon us because he knoweth that he have a short time. That's why he moving the things. That's how he. That's why he moving the way he moving. That's why he trying to uh, create this new digital currency. This digital currency going to lead to the MOTB. MOTB, Lord willing. You know, if you don't know what that is, the digital oil. If you don't know what the digital oil is, look up CHIP. RFID CH RFID CHIP. Okay. If it those that have an ear that have an ear, you know, hey, if you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. You know. But, you know, this devil man, you know, we don't need divine intervention from this devil because man, this devil right here, man. He ain't gonna stop till he get enough, man. Until he's actually subdued by the heavenly, by the heavenly Father's begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Yeah, Yahweh Shah is gonna tread them underfoot, the put them down. Okay, so you know we are gonna go ahead and get into the deliverance scriptures. You know we are gonna get the Book of Psalms, chapter ninety-one. Okay, this is the Book of Psalms, chapter ninety-one. <clears throat> This is Psalm chapter 91 and verse 1 through 16. And it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall, ate, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say o, of the Lord, He is my refuge, my, my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the no snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth it shall be thy shield and buckler, Thou shalt, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Right, so, hey, you know, no evil shall befall thee, you know. Because, hey, if the Lord, you know, the Lord could have let me get killed in that vision, you know. You know, but, you know, the Lord delivered me. You know, and Lord willing, the Lord deliver me and, you know, you other brothers and sisters that's in truth and sincerity, man. You know, but continue on, and it says, "For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee, keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up, and thy in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder and young lion, and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name." And he shall call upon me, and I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and shew my him my salvation. So, you know, hey, man, the Lord going to make sure we uh, cover in that day, man. Make sure we protect in that day, man. The Lord not going to allow no evil come upon us, man. We're going to see the reward of the wicked. You know, we're going to see, you know, these wicked jakes, you know, wicked niggas and wicked nigga women getting fucked up out here. You know, that's the reward of the wicked. And ultimately, the reward of the wicked is Esau. You know, we're going to see him get destroyed, man. You know, get fucked up out here. You know, because the Lord is going to let this world have it, man. Okay. But, continue on. Let's get the book of... Uh, book of Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17. The 
book of Isaiah, chapter 54, and verse 17. And the reason it says, <clears throat> this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, and verse 17. And it says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So, yeah, man. Hey, no weapon that is formed against us is going to prosper. Okay, because this devil is a carnal man. He's a carnal beast. He uses uh carnal he uses carnal tactics to take take us down. Cause our weapons our weapons are not uh carnal. Our ours is spiritual, okay? Ours is spiritual. This devil's weapons are carnal, okay? They can break, you know, they can misfunction, malfunction, they gotta be re they gotta be paired, be repaired, you know. But the but ours is spiritual. We don't have to worry about those things, man. Spiritual powers, man. That's unlimited. That's unlimited, man. Okay. Um. Let's get the book of Job, chapter um five through nineteen. You know, I'm gonna grab a scripture on how this devil rules with the sword. You know, this is the book of Job, chapter five and verse nineteen through twenty two. And it says, he shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in the seventh, there shall no evil touch thee. Right, so, hey, when, you know, the Lord going to deliver us out of all troubles, man, you know, he going to deliver us, you know, and, you know, and the final deliverance is going to get beamed up in the chariot before them uh, ICBM missiles come, man. The thermonuclear destruction come, man. That's going to be the final deliverance, man. The second exodus. Okay. Verse 20, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death and war, from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tomb. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and in famine. Shalaki. Shalaki, I had to do something. And it says in famine he shall redeem uh where is it? And it says that destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Right, so hey man, do all this hell that's gonna be coming down this pipe, man. Hey, the Lord gonna make sure we good, man. He gonna be delivering us out of these troubles that we can't get ourselves out of. It's not a hard thing to the Lord to deliver us out of certain situations. Re remember the accounts with uh Daniel when he was fed to the lions and the lions didn't eat him, you know. When the three holy children were thrown in the fire, they wasn't burnt. And the account when um, Peter was locked up, you know, the angel came. The Lord sent the angel down to deliver him out of jail. You know, so, hey, man, they don't know the accounts of deliverance, man. You know, in many more accounts, the Lord delivered his people out of, out, out of troubles, man. But we got to have faith also, man. You know, but, you know, let's go ahead and get this scripture real quick. I know I, know I should have pulled it when... I was getting on the uh, fact that this devil's gonna come down with great wrath, but I'ma just get it right now. Uh, I'ma start at verse um, 38 and go to 41. And the reason it says, And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me. Bless me, even me also as my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept, and Esau cried like a little bitch. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and above, and, and of the dew of and the dew of heaven from above. You know, so you know who in power right now? Esau is. And it says, And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, thou shalt break the yoke, break his yoke off off thy neck. Okay, so hey. You know, thy, by thy sword thou shalt live. Okay, so this devil lives by the sword, man. Okay, that's why he moves. That's why he create the things he do. And he don't create the shit just on his own. The Heavenly Father helps him with it, you know, on the left hand side, you know, because it's all for the Lord's purpose. Okay, I'm not saying that the Lord is dealing with Esau. No, he's doing it for his movie's sake, you know, because the Lord is the director of this movie, man. Yahweh is the director of this movie. Okay. Uh, verse um, 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherein his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. 
then will I slay my brother? So basically, Jacob, you know, waited until their dad died to be like, I'm going to go kill my brother. Same spirit of Cain, man. You know, Cain and Abel. Did not Cain slay his brother in the field? You know? And the same thing they do to this day. They trying, they slaying us out in the open and, you know, in the field, man. In the spiritual field, man. You know? But, you know, <clears throat> guess that's it on that, man. Uh, Lord willing, you know, there's an edifying lesson. You know, I'd like to give our honor and our glory and our praise to the Heavenly Father in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakatash. The Bible says, Great Master, and the Apostle, we teach you well. Peace, sight, taste, and hope for elect. Till next time, to the next video, Shalom, Kwame Shirella, and Bada Bada.